Uh, Janet gave you a little bit about him. Uh, Bob Kayat uh, is the 15th chancellor uh, of this university. Uh, he's been in this position since July of 1995, presides over four campuses with in excess of 17,000 students. And anyone you talk to, not only in the state of Mississippi, but in higher education, will indicate to you that this man has brought a renaissance to education, particularly here at Old Miss. He has degrees from Old Miss and from Yale. And uh, though a lot of people in this audience from Washington, D.C., and as Janet indicated, uh, he's a former Washington Redskin, and he's received the New York, or excuse me, the NFL Lifetime Achievement Award. That's the kind of guy that we have as the chancellor of this university. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Chancellor Robert Kaye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Parenthal. Thank you, and, and good evening, Mr. Clark. Thank you all. We thank Janet Brown and the entire commission for helping make this possible. Uh, this is really a crowning moment in the history of Mississippi and in the history of Ole Miss. Uh, we've worked very hard uh, to be in this position, and we're grateful to the commission for giving us this opportunity. Uh, we welcome uh, Senators McCain and Senators Obama and their families. Uh, we're particularly grateful to Jim Lehrer for, for moderating this debate tonight. We're grateful to have the members of the political parties here and the members of the press. We have a truly special group in our audience tonight. I'm going to ask them to stand. Ole Miss was allotted approximately 150 tickets, and they went to the students. With the students of the University of Mississippi, please stand and let this audience sit here. One of our goals at this university is to provide extraordinary opportunities for extraordinary people. And these students are truly extraordinary. And this is an extraordinary event. As Mr. Farenkoff said, we could not host this event if we didn't have the help of our private uh, supporters and contributors. So I would hope you will listen carefully as I tell you who made this possible. AT&T provided not only funding, but infrastructure support. Bank Corp South, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Mississippi, Chevron Pascagoula Refinery, Entergy, FedEx, Mississippi Power Company, the Roy Anderson Holding Corporation, Sanderson Farms, the Southern Company, Trustmark Bank, and Walmart. Our lead partner was the Robert M. Heron Support Foundation. And I would ask you to please express your appreciation for those people who provided support. Additionally, uh, many companies provided infrastructure support, including doubling the internet capacity of the university and making it redundant. Today, those of you from Mississippi people understand this, in Morton, Mississippi, east of Jackson, a major transmission line was severed when some people were putting in an irrigation line. We lost half of our power today. Anyhow, because of at and support, we were able to get that back online by 1.30. We're particularly glad to have you all tonight. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity. We wish the best to the candidates and to the commission. God bless. Thank you. Thank you.